All right, guys, so it is Devin the Realtor here on the beautiful island of Maui. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is 10 facts about Maui, Hawaii that you probably didn't know. Fact number one is that Maui pineapples possess three times more vitamin C than any other pineapple brand out there like Dole. That is something that is very interesting to know about Hawaii and its pineapples. That is the first fun fact for you guys. Uh, Maui pineapples have three times more vitamin C. Fact number two, Haleakala is 10,023 feet. It is one of two volcanoes on the beautiful island of Maui. The volcano is so big that it can fit the entire island of Manhattan. So geologists believe that the last time it was actually erupted was in the 1700s, so almost 300 years ago. Another fun fact about Haleakala is that it is the world's largest dormant volcano. Fact number three is that there are 81 accessible beaches on Maui. Another fun fact about Maui and its beaches is there are 120 miles of accessible beach on the beautiful island of Maui. It's actually more than any of the other islands that are out there. Fact number four is that there are absolutely no snakes and there's hardly even any predators on the island of Maui as well. Uh, one thing that I did learn when I got here really early on is that there were no snakes. We would do a lot of yard work and you know I would help out a lot of people before I got into real estate. And I was always worried about snakes or seeing something like that. I mean, in this environment, you would definitely think that it's prime for snakes. And it's actually not. There are no poisonous snakes here. The one thing that you, or there's a couple things that you do have to worry about. Uh, it would be scorpions and centipedes. That's definitely something that you should be aware of. If you're freaked out about scorpions or centipedes, that could be a deterrent. I know some people just have phobias of like spiders and stuff like that. But uh, the important thing is just to, if you see a centipede, kill it, let it live, know where it's going. The other thing you guys, I would do just to take an extra precaution if you are worried about centipedes and scorpions is to always check your shoes before you put them on or just wear sandals like I do everywhere and you won't have that problem. So fact number five is a general statement and a general fact that I did not know about Hawaii, but Hawaii's life expectancy is expected to be some of the highest in the country. So if you live in Hawaii for your whole life, the life expectancy of someone living in Hawaii is 81 and a half years. And that's for someone living in Hawaii. And you gotta think about it too. Like when I first moved out here, my diet changed completely. My mom even told me that my diet would change too. And what did I do as a son? Of course I didn't listen, but she was right. So my diet did change tremendously. Like. I didn't eat a lot of fish, I didn't eat a lot of seafood, I didn't even eat a lot of Spam, I never even had Spam before I got here. Now I eat tons of Spam, now I eat tons of fish, raw fish, poke, um, whatever it is that's here, I'm really open to you know, all the, all the food that's here really because it is really, really good. I can definitely say that people who do live in Hawaii are more healthy in my opinion compared to other states on the mainland. The reason why I say that is because we are very limited on the fast food places we have here on Maui specifically. Hawaii or on Oahu, there's definitely more places that you can go to, but I mean if you're looking for a cleaner diet and a cleaner way of eating, I would definitely recommend possibly moving to Maui or really just thinking about uh, how your diet would change if you're looking to make a whole big um, shift in your mindset in your life I think Maui would be a perfect spot for you because you have nature you have absolutely beautiful nature landscapes hikes all kinds of stuff that you can do and then I mean you have really good food here like all the fish and stuff is super fresh it comes straight out of the ocean onto your dinner plate pretty much uh, there's a lot of raw fish out here and it's, it's really good I love it Took me a minute to get used to it, but my diet definitely has changed when I got here, and I already feel that I'm gonna live to 81 years old. Fact number six, Hana, if you've heard about it, the road to Hana, if you guys have never heard about this, or you have heard about it and you would like to do it, I would highly recommend you do this. The road to Hana is a staple when you come to Maui. People are always going the road to Hana. If you've never been, I would at least recommend doing it once. So the road to Hana is 49 miles long and has 59 bridges and almost 600 hairpin turns. 
Fact number seven. So the estimated amount of whales that journey to Hawaii, to Maui specifically, is estimated to be around 4,000 and 10,000 whales per season. So these whales actually come from Alaska and it's about a 6,000 mile swim. So Maui is definitely one of the best places to go and actually do whale watching because you can get on a, a sailboat and you can actually have a dinner date, right? Uh, sunset cruise and you can catch the whales as well. It's definitely one of the best places to do whale watching at in my personal opinion. It's, it's, it's awesome. I loved it. I definitely recommend doing it. And if you have a drone, I would highly recommend you bringing that. The reason being is because if you can find them, and now caution, if you can find them from your hotel room, it's kind of a challenge. I've had a hard time, but when you do find them and you fly your drone out there, make sure that you're a thousand feet away from them. Legally, you have to be a thousand feet away from them. But what you can do is you can fly your drone out there and you can hover over them, watch them, and you know, it's, it, it's absolutely cool. I love it. I love my drone. Also too, if you actually happen to go onto one of the boats, make sure you ask the captain if you can fly your drone. Some are okay with it, some are not. So that's just another forewarning. But with that being said, you guys, that is fact number seven. Fact number eight. So the Haleakala Height Observatory is also here on Maui. We have some of the lowest light pollution in the United States, you know, versus LA. LA has tons of light pollution and not to forget to mention all the smog pollution as well. But Hawaii, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. If, if you were to walk outside right now, for me, it's about 6 a.m. in the morning. If you were to walk outside and we're pretty much obviously to where there's no street lights, what you would see is you would look up and you would see stars galore. Um, sometimes what I actually like to do, and I would recommend this maybe to you guys as well, um, instead of, you know, hanging out in the room, watching Netflix and whatever it is that you guys are doing with your family, I would, I'd actually recommend going, you know, down to the beach with the, your loved one, your wife or whatever, and actually just lay on the beach and watch the stars while the kids are sleeping or something. Uh, it's definitely beautiful. There are tons of stars. It's just, it's awesome out here. I would definitely recommend you checking that out and just putting on your list of things to do when you're here. Uh, because the light pollution here is not as prevalent as it is in LA where I'm from. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. Haleakala High Altitude Observatory is one of the best space surveillance places in the world. Unfortunately, it's not open to the public, but when they do open it to the public, they have events that you can opt into and see if you can get a ticket and actually see exactly what there is to offer uh, when you go up there and you can see what space is all about there. Fact number nine is that Maui is considered a surfer's paradise. So if you're actually looking and you're into surfing, I would definitely recommend you checking out a couple places if you're good. Um, the first one would be Honolulu Bay. The second place that I would recommend is Jaws if you can surf that. Jaws has some of the best massive waves out here in my opinion, uh, you know, 60 to 70 feet high and those people are surfing them. It's, it's crazy. It's 
I've never done it. I don't think I will, but it is a thing to do when you come out here. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. Jaws and Honolulu Bay. There's a couple other spots. There's even Paia Bay. I would recommend Big Beach. Personally, that's like one of my favorite beaches. It's shore break. I get on my bodyboard and I have a good time doing that. Um, but Hawaii is just a surfer's paradise in general, but Maui has some couple good spots, actually a lot more good spots than I named, but I definitely recommend if you are into surfing, come and check out those spots that I talked to you about, and make sure you respect the locals and the culture of surfing. So with that being said, you guys, that is fact number nine. Fact number 10, Hawaii is one of the only states to have two languages. So those two languages are being Hawaiian, and English. So those are the two languages that Hawaii has cultivated and have a part of their state and culture. So if you guys are interested in learning Hawaiian, it's possible. Um, it definitely is possible. You just got to find the right teacher. And you know, you probably wouldn't use it too much, but it's cool. You can say that you learned it and that you know it. And um, you know, it is something that you can do while you're here. But with that being said, you guys, English and Hawaiian are some of the languages that are here on the island of Maui. So fact number 10 is Hawaii is actually one of the only states to have two languages. So those two languages being English and Hawaiian. All right guys, so I think that's enough information for you guys today. I have 10 more facts that I'll actually go ahead and put in another video. Hopefully you guys can watch that video as well. But as always, you guys could just continue to like, follow, and subscribe so that you can be up to date on every single video that I post. And uh, with that being said, you guys, Devin the Realtor here on the beautiful island of Allen. God bless and aloha. All right, you guys, so thank you for watching my YouTube channel, you guys, where I always bring you some of the most exclusive, raw, and authentic topics and videos about Maui and everything there is to do on the island. Don't just stop here, though, watching this video. Reach out to me here at 808-868-7501. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single video or share this with a friend. God bless and aloha from Maui.